One of the happiest moments in life is when a baby is born. Imagine yourself as a parent, happily taking home your newborn baby. Two months pass, and one day all of a sudden, your baby starts shaking violently. You take your baby to the hospital, and the doctor comes and tells you that while a typical human brain has folds and grooves on its surface, your baby's brain is completely smooth. And because of this smooth brain, your baby will develop below average intelligence, seizures, and even lose the abilities to walk talk, and eat. This is the reality for patients suffering from lysencephaly, also known as smooth brain disease. Normally, the human brain begins to fold during pregnancy when the baby is still a fetus. However, in smooth brain disease, something that we don't yet understand prevents the brain from folding in the fetus. And so babies are born with a smooth brain with severely compromised brain functions. Current research into human smooth brain relies on using the mouse brain to study it because it's hard to get access to brain tissue from human fetuses. However, the use of mice is not ideal. Why? Because mice are born with a naturally smooth brain and can function normally with it. It's not appropriate to use a normally functioning smooth mouse brain to study an abnormally functioning human smooth brain. To overcome the problem of using mice, I developed a way to make human fetal brain-like tissue from human hair in a dish. This has never been done before. I began by collecting hairs from smooth brain patients and healthy people. I then isolated cells from the follicles of those hairs and by adding four proteins, I can convert the hair follicle cells to stem cells. Stem cells are cells that can be pushed to become any cell type in the body, including brain cells. By adding specific growth factors to the stem cells, I can then push the stem cells to, to become brain-like tissue. Next, when I analyzed the brain-like tissue I made under the microscope, I found something remarkable. This brain-like tissue I made closely resembles the human brain developing in the fetus. So I renamed this tissue human fetal brain-like tissue. Using my method, I can grow smooth fetal brain-like tissue from patients and compare it to healthy tissue in order to identify the differences between them. My ultimate goal is to test potential drug therapies that can prevent these differences from ever occurring. Lastly, this method can be used to grow patient tissue to study other fetal brain disorders, such as autism. So this is an exciting time for us because we now have the capability to grow human fetal brain-like tissue in a dish from a patient's own cells, advancing personalized medicine in the study of human smooth brain disease. Our hope one day is to develop a therapy that can be administered during pregnancy to prevent smooth brain from recurring in the fetus thus allowing babies to be born with unlimited potential. So join me and let's make this hope a reality.